Okay, so um, my um, oral was about paying attention to your mental health. This was my first source. Just show us that source again. Okay, so it's from Google, something you got on the internet. Yes, ma'am. And then um, I got two sources. This is my other one, Stray's Gone, um, written by Bridget Edwards. And this is the other one. Psychology textbook. Yes, ma'am. And, the, and I've used keywords in my um, PowerPoint and those were my um, background of my slides. Okay, so you use that as a theme yes, to design your slides because it's all about managing emotions. Yes, okay, so you started out with how many sources? I've only had one source and then I found five more so I have. In total, I have five sources, so I just got four more sources. Extras? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. So that's a great way to avoid plagiarism, going from one source to five sources. And you got a good mark, as you know, and you did it very well. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a very, very good lesson that you learned there. Thanks, Espronique. Mm -hmm. And Inga, what do you no? have to say? <laughs> um, I'm going to talk about my experience with doing an auto for English. My topic was, um, has people, must people be obsessed with health and wellness? Um, I started off with one source and it started with plagiarism. So I went with three other sources, which one was a um, primary source and the other one was a secondary source. Um, my primary source was a teacher at the school, Ms. Berger, and my other source was the internet. And the other one was pictures that I found. That's all. Okay, so your so your images for your slides was your third your third source. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and tell me when you when you quoted Miss Berger, so she was a primary source, right? Yes, ma'am. Did you quote her at the end or at the beginning? Um, I used the quotation as according to. Yes. It's her exact words, so it was at the end because that was the source, like. Yes. yes. Well, I really, when I listened to your oral, I really liked that because your your source from the internet was an overseas publication. Yes, ma'am. And then you got to her to comment on it from a local perspective. So it brought it home and it made it really relevant. I think that's why it was so nice that you quoted her to make it relevant to your audience. Yes, ma'am. And as you said, you use that word according to when you want to say that you're mentioning facts. Someone's exact words. Yeah. So that's really important eh, to avoid plagiarism. Thank you. That was excellent.